Strategic Planning Scenarios for Saluit Nunavik Future Visions Based on Geomorphological Hypotheses The student project imagines long-term ways of developing the northern village of Saluit in a sustainable fashion. Using three design propositions, it explores alternative construction methods which we believe might contribute to addressing current planning challenges and allow for citizen aspirations to be realized. The design propositions approach these challenges by hypothesizing that living closer together could constitute a technical and sensible solution. Among these challenges are two main considerations. First, the physical features of the ground on which a village is built are directly affected by climate change. These changes contribute to the thawing of the permafrost and make building foundations unstable, especially as gravel pits get depleted. Second, the population growth rate in subsequent urban forms takes citizens farther from essential services, such as schools, church, and stores, and farther from each other. In order to evaluate the feasibility of construction in various areas over a long period, this plan combines two informations, the type of deposit on the surface and the slopes. Since different deposits contain different amounts of ice, their stability does not vary equally as the climate changes. Our propositions prioritize an area just to the south of the village, a sloping but stable area. Other areas may also be appropriate. This plan projects the development of Saluit over a 60-year period. It applies alternative ways of building on bedrock and light slopes with intersecting main streets and walkways. The design's main difference with the existing part of the village is its density. The houses are arranged in close-knit solidary clusters. In total, using this method, the studied area could house up to 1,030 dwellings. This is about three times more than is possible with the current construction and planning methods. The compact environment proposition is a simple short-term solution to the scarcity of gravel. Since most existing houses are built on adjustable screw jacks on pads, it could be possible to move them closer to the streets. This could free up some space to build small dwellings in between for family members, for instance, which could then share the lots for storage and daily activities. The cut and fill proposition applies to areas of till deposits, where the bedrock is at a depth of only a few meters. The shallow excavation of ground can free up just enough materials to be used as backfill for main streets. It is then possible to sculpt carriageways that could support trucking and all other means of transportation. Most importantly, these wide spaces are ideal for large constructions. Because the bedrock is close to the surface, these buildings could be built on piles, which further reduces the need for gravel. The mountainside walkways proposition takes advantage of Salowit's typical slope terrain for the downhill distribution of services, which can be done through shared networks under short, walkable platforms. These connected platforms allow access to all dwellings on foot and give rise to interesting sheltered spaces for shared storage or personal use around the houses. Since these structures and houses can be built on piles as well, it eliminates the need for gravel. In turn, this preserves plenty of natural ground on the lots, which provide individual access to all dwellings as well. By developing a thin type of house, which can sit comfortably on slopes, and with a varying number of stories, it's possible to accommodate for different preferences and different family sizes. These propositions are not intended to be definitive. Rather, they're exploratory. As technical methods, scientific knowledge of ground conditions, and citizen aspirations constantly evolve, we believe it's important to imagine and to contemplate new avenues which could bring planning professionals, elected officials, and citizens together around shared future visions. <laughs>